Hey guys, Poop Lounge Productions here. Uh, this is a video response to Jason28W. He uh, very kindly made a video for me on how to make a parallel battery connector for RC batteries. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and build one here. I wasn't sure how long this video was going to be, so I ended up cutting out a bunch of crap. And I'm doing a voiceover now to try to just at least have some narrative to what's going on. So for this, I'm going to be using uh, Traxxas connectors. I know you said to make sure I, I use high voltage ones. I already had some, which I'd been meaning to switch over to, but never got a chance to. So I guess this would be a good good spot to start off using them. And uh, I got to switch my batteries over too to them. But um, all right, so getting started here, I had to check the directions, but I started off by soldering the. Uh, uh, what does it say here? Oh yeah, I just got a little bit of solder on each of the uh, the ends of these before I was to put them onto the terminals. Here I am wiring or soldering onto the first terminal. I do that for both of them. As you can see too, I've got black wire for both of them. That's all I had, so um, I had to try to try to make sure I didn't screw up my positives and negatives. And uh, getting the terminals into the actual housing, I thought was very difficult. I don't know. I've never done that before. Um, but I had a one hell of a time trying to push it in there. I ended up using a screwdriver and finally got it to snap into place, but Here I am soldering the other side trying to get it in there and I've been using um, Heat shrink or I used heat shrink on it. I usually do I know you recommended it and said it'll give it a cleaner appearance and uh, It also adds a very good protection to it. I think um, from the elements if you will Again, trying to shove it in there with a the screwdriver. This one I had a really hard time on. I ended up, there's the finished. Uh, and then I decided to put one more piece of uh, heat shrink around it just to give it a final final finish on the first plug. But, um, ah, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh, yeah, this video would have been th three, four times longer had I kept everything in. <laughs> Yes, I've heard people tell me don't use lighters to heat up your heat shrink. There's the final product right there for the first plug. But um, I don't have a heat gun, so whatever. A lighter works just fine in my opinion. Then here I'm going on the second plug. Uh, the second one went a lot quicker than the first one. Just because I kind of had like a little method down and I knew what worked best. Um, as far as at least jamming them into the casing. I don't know if there's a, if you know of some easier way to do that. Uh, Please let me know, anybody out there, because I'm going to be switching over all my all my plugs, and I'd like to um, do it as professionally as possible and make sure that I'm not forcing anything into where it's supposed to be. Even though I know, I think it was because I had, I'm not very good at soldering, so I think I just had too much of a buildup of solder, and it couldn't couldn't fully get pushed into the, uh, the casing as far as it needed to, but I eventually got it. Here I am putting more uh, for the for the heat shrink I put I did a little little uh, little heat shrinks around each individual wire and then I did one bigger heat shrink around both the wires just to kind of keep everything together and um, for the protection as I said earlier and by the way uh, Jason 28w has uh, if you're looking to actually uh, make one of these I would recommend going to his channel and he's got a great tutorial on how to do it and plus he's got a bunch of other cool videos he's got a badass Emacs I thought it was pretty funny too actually um, when you made that video hearing you say poop lounge productions a few times was actually pretty funny. I don't think I've heard anybody else say it out loud, so I got kind of a chuckle out of it. It's a it's another name for a fancy bathroom. I came up with it once while sitting in a fancy bathroom. Right here, what I'm doing is um, connecting the positives from uh, both of the individual cables together and the negatives, and um, just soldering them to a terminal and then putting them in the casing. And that's that's the final step of it, pretty much. And I did get a chance to test it out and it worked fine. However, I've got to um, get, I gotta get some new batteries and stuff. And I gotta get a new uh, uh, new way to support them. I don't know if like a wider, if there's a wider chassis I can use or like maybe use one off of something else so that I can put two batteries side by side. But 
Um, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.